they're going with a Sheik Meta Knight team. Mm -hmm. Little bit surprised because usually Nam opts for Corrin in doubles. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure why he's opting for Sheik right now. Maybe they tried Corrin earlier and Nam was uh, just not feeling the Corrin. Mm -hmm. Not exactly sure, but. Yeah, a lot of it comes down to uh, are you what character you're feeling at maybe because I mean honestly there's some days where you're like I just want to go in and be aggressive so a Sheik might be a slightly better option for that I'm not sure how aggressive you can be with Corrin or there might be a day where you just want to sit back and play defensively so go Luigi in Mo One's case mm -hmm. alright so round one of this match on Startsville yeah, I want to point out that the fact that uh, technology started in front of Nam actually put Red Team at an immediate disadvantage mm -hmm. because technology did not want to risk engaging Low One immediately. Mm -hmm. um, so he jumped back, Nam charged Needles, and they basically gave up stage control there. Yeah. So the fact that they've taken it back already is mm -hmm. pretty impressive. Yeah, that's one thing I'd like to see technology work on in doubles because Almost all of the time that I've seen him play doubles, he loves to play the defensive role or the stock tank mm -hmm. role. So he's not as comfortable taking the aggressor role in a doubles team situation. Yeah, it's kind of hard to play that role as Meta Knight, though. Yeah. His, his main flaw is his approach his, options. His set of approach options, yeah. He's pretty limited in terms of approaches. He does have some safe approaches, yeah. but... Compared to the other characters on the screen here, that was a really good bouncing yeah. fish from Nam. Low one threw out a forward air for pretty much no reason, and Nam was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Oh. <laughs> wow. We've Lo been seeing a lot of that today. Low one is on point with these forward smashes. Just, I know you're going to fall into it. It's the fortune teller's hand. He knows when something's about to happen and has it ready. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Man, just making him do acrobatics with that PK Thunder. Yeah, now I'm able to avoid it, though. Sometimes it's very, very hard to avoid yeah. that PK Thunder off stage. Yeah, and I mean, it's so easy to eat up people's jumps with PK Thunder, especially if they start panicking. Yeah, do not jump if a PK Thunder's coming at you. It'll steal your jump, yeah. and you'll be in a horrible situation. Yeah, I mean, if you can get to about... Uh, a situation where you'd have enough time to air dodge after the PK Thunder hits you upwards, after the nest comes after you offstage, that would be the better option in that situation. Sometimes it's best just to take the hit. Yeah. Low run running over to stop technology from trying to get that elevator up air combo. Speaking of elevator up airs, oh, just missing that last hit. Yeah, and meanwhile, like, okay, Tech was able to do that because he recognized that Nam was successfully edge guarding Low One. Yep. Low One was not going to be able to prevent that because mm -hmm. Nam almost actually took Low One's stock there. Yeah. One more read probably would have been it for yeah. Low One, but uh, oh, Meta Knight's back there. Super good team's throw. Yeah. For a moment there, I thought it was going to be the Luigi that got hit by that. Mm -hmm. Some characters just have very, very good throw setups and yep. doubles, Sonic's down throw, Meta Knight's back throw, yep. uh, Sheik's back throw, Fox's forward throw. Bowser's forward throw as well. Really? Yes. Honest, oh. Because I've been doing a team with Manslayer of Ike and Bowser, <laughs> and the amount of times we can just throw our opponents into each other's up smashes is ridiculous. That Because both absurd. of our throws are at that perfect height for that. Just like Meta Knight's back throw, yep. uh, which is very crucial to this match. Yeah, right now they're doing a good job of keeping their opponents off stage. Is that torn? Oh, no, no, no. I'm looking at the wrong percent. I yeah. thought uh, I thought low one's percent was oh, slam's percent. Yeah, if low one was caught in that, he would have been in a horrible situation. Yeah. Speaking of horrible situations being thrown into a Meta Knight up knee. Yep. Now, um, new low one likes to play passive and safe, mm -hmm. and neutral getup is the safe option, so he yep. read it. Yeah. <laughs> but. Oh, almost catching him with that up smash. 
Yeah, he's been throwing out the up B as an option whenever he's near the ledge a lot this game. And honestly, it's something he's going to need to do in this situation because he needs to do something in order to bring it back. Mm -hmm. There, Nam, uh, looking for something. Yeah, he was in the right spot just a little too early. Yeah, yeah. Oh, low on neutral get-ups again. Now Nam's going to be looking Ooh. for a vanish here, yeah. Almost had it. Go for it another time. There he uses the platform. Low one DI is back, though. Make yep. sure that he uh, not not going to get hit by that vanish. Yep. Yeah, he's been going for that neutral get up option every single time. He needed to vary it up at least once. What? Okay, I guess Slam Shady had a controller issue that match. Oh. Um, one of his buttons unable unable to work. His R button, R -button was not working. Um, I'm just gonna assume that that was his shield. Yeah, I. But I'm not sure what his normal control setup is. Yeah, I have no idea, so I can only assume that it was shield. But yeah. uh, it could be anything. A lot of people use R to jump. Some people set R to attack or special. Yeah. Um, if you play with tab jump off, you need to set it to either attack or special to do the up bees out of shield. Yeah. If you're in a situation like that with uh, controller malfunction, if it's early in the match, do you think it's better to say, hey, even though we've started the match and we haven't really done much yet, my button isn't working. Can we restart the match so I can get my button working? Or do you try and hide it from your opponents and just try and work around it? I think it depends on how confident I am. <laughs> I have had uh, doubles matches where I didn't put on my tag or something, mm -hmm. and I've just been like, all right, I'm just going to pretend I'm playing melee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, yeah, sometimes I don't tend to have controller malfunctions too much, thankfully. Yeah. Ultimately, I think players should do what Kesev does and softer set their controller uh, with X Y start. Yep. At the, like in between games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is definitely one of his major habits. I think he even does it before the first match even starts. Yep. yep. Just to make sure that he never has controller issues. And you know what? Yeah. I have never in my life seen Kesev have a controller issue. Yep. But yeah, another thing that might be a good idea for a lot of people out there is if you can ever find a toolkit with the appropriate set of drivers in order to open up your controllers so you can give them a good cleaning, I'd definitely recommend doing it if you get the option because if you could make sure that your controller is working at its best anytime you can, definitely take that option. Yeah, these things can get pretty grimy. Like, look, yeah. at, look at this. Hmm. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> that's that's nasty. Yeah. And I mean, if they get dirty very quickly. Yeah, I mean, if something ever gets in the cavity where the buttons are for the controller, and you got your buttons sticking, that is horrible to have to deal with. Oh, sticky buttons are the worst, man. Yeah, I can't even put up with that. If I if I had a button stick, like yeah. A couple times mm -hmm. within the same situation, probably just yep. buy a new controller. Yeah. But I mean, like I was saying, if you have a toolkit, all you need to do is open it up and just clean it out with the uh, Q-tip and some water. Mm -hmm. The uh, winner of this match could potentially move on to uh, make the money to buy a new controller <laughs> as we're going to be moving in <laughs> to game two. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I like how we moved the down B closer to. Uh, Nam in order to try and catch him with it, but Nam was ready for that. Because at the end of that down B, you're going to be in an unsafe situation unless your teammate's there to cover your options. Slam might have been going for a PK Thunder 2 there, but the minute he saw low 1 get knocked away, he, yeah, he pulled it back. Yeah, he, he changed that tail to a different kind of oh. trap. Low 1 recognizing that Nam was caught in the PK fire there and almost caught him with an up B. Slam was really good to uh, call out Nam's forward air there. Anti-airing Sheik can be very effective. Yeah. Uh, if you throw out a hitbox bigger than her forward air, you guess when she's going to jump. Yeah. It can put you at an advantage like that. Yep. Oh, oh. no. Tech oh. missed the follow-up. Yep. 
And that Slam is Slam Shady did not miss the follow up. Though. Yeah, definitely going to cost him his stock when he's up against Ness and Luigi. Oh, rolling into that forest smash there. Yep, one of Low One's biggest problems is he's always had a little bit of a habit of using defensive options too much, yeah. especially spot dodge. <laughs> yeah, and in, in a double situation, if you're doing a lot of side rolls, it's going to be easy for at least one of your opponents to cover that option. Especially when you have such a strong, safe F smash like yeah. Meta Knight does. Good job avoiding that vanish there. That was really smart of Tech to just fall behind Nam. It was smart of Nam to charge the needles so that neither player would run in. Because the needles would last long enough so that Tech would be able to get out of his recovery state from that B. Yeah, you don't always use a move to land the attack, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just threaten the option, and that's yeah. what Nam did there. He was threatening the needles. He was saying, if you run at me and try to punish Tech, you're going to eat these needles. Yep. Sure enough, that's what happened. Oh, just managed to tech that. Did he footstool him after that? I don't remember. It was a good tech because mm -hmm. it land it ended in Slam Shady's stock yep. uh, because of the shortened. Okay, so that's what it was. Because for a moment there, from where he jumped, it looked like he might have footstooled him, but I'm not. Heard. I'm yeah. not sure. He very well could have. Yeah. Yeah, this matchup is really even right now. Yeah, blue team is having a little oh. bit of trouble breaking oh red team's defenses, yeah. but low one finds the hole. Yeah, and hits it with the biggest punish ever. Yeah. He found the weakest point, and he hit it with the hardest thing he could. Slam Shady covering that ledge snap with the yo-yo. Tech a little off point with these up B follow-ups. Yeah. If he starts hitting them more, they should be able to start bringing this back. Oh, yep, there goes Nessa stock. Yep. Well, the low one's still sitting on an extra stock on top of that. Yeah, they're going to want to take this out quickly. Yeah. Nam with an opportunity oh. there, messes it up. He got greedy. He screwed up the edge guard and yep. then tried to he tried to go for it anyway yeah. after he had already messed it up. He should have just reeled Gotten back there, situation. said, okay, I screwed it up. But Yeah, because if you ever screw something up against a nest, you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Yep. I like what technology is doing here with the short hop downers, just because both uh, Ness and Luigi, I'm not sure if they have the ability to challenge them that much in the air. Yeah. I just want to say that despite the outcome, because that was a very, very difficult situation. Yeah. Tech played fantastic there. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic with mm -hmm. the reads he was making. Yeah. Speaking of reads, that up B. That <laughs> up B. That up B was. Did, did you see what percent tech was at? I when didn't. That hit? What I do know is that that up B was the turning point. Yeah. Because I know that the up B on most characters, if they're on the ground, it'll kill them at 65 to 70 percent. It's a very deadly move. It's yeah. probably Luigi's strongest move. Outside of, like, maybe charge F smash or something. I don't no, know. it's definitely his strongest move, but it's also his most risky move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Especially considering the fact that he used it at the middle of the stage, because at that point, if you miss that and your opponent shields it, they have an absolutely free punish. If you use the up B when you're at the edges of the stage, you can at least try and fast fall past your opponent to try and grab onto the ledge. There are situations where it's a confirm though, like if you jab someone's shield and they spot dodge, there's a nod to at that point as yeah. long as you know you're going to time it right. Yeah. Because they've already, if, if you wait for the spot dodge, you already get a free punish now. Yep. And that's one thing Lowen definitely excels at is being patient and waiting out in the boxing situation. 
That was really good, a low one. Uh, he did the back throw, and now I'm waited because he didn't want to get hit. Mm -hmm. So he ran in, and low one jabbed him because yeah. low one was calling out his reaction time, essentially. Blue team doing a good job of holding on to center stage control right here. Swift up, he's going to cause it to switch back into a mix-up of who's got control. So this was red team's pick to go to Dreamline, correct? Correct. Uh, what advantages do you think that gives the red team versus the Luigi Nest combo? Well, initially, uh, the first thing I think of is out of the two triangle stages, mm -hmm. this is the one with the lower ceiling. Okay, so Sheik's down throw 50-50 would kill her over here. Yeah, not only does Sheik have a lot of good kill options here, uh, Meta Knight too. Yep. Their setups are all, they all rely off of killing off the top, the back throw, tornado, up air, yep. vanish, um, back throw to shuttle loop, yep. things like that. And Red team is looking for kills off the top. Right. Most of the time. If I remember, they also buffed Meta Knight's throw, the flying suplex, is how you like to call it, to where it actually kills similar to the range that Kirby's kills. Did they? Yeah, I believe they did, if I remember correctly. Hmm. I don't remember hearing about that, but. Might be something worth looking up. Because if that truly is an option that Meta Knight has, if he gets into the center stage and gets that grab, he might be able to use that oh, for high sure. platform to his advantage. Oh, Ooh. that shield almost broke there. Yeah, Dom was, Nam was definitely expecting something yeah. like a, uh, a forward, or not a forward smash, a spot dodge, yeah. and that's why he forward smashed. Yep, because if he spot dodges the first one, that second one is definitely going to hit. Not quite enough to kill. I think if he had a bit more rage or if Ness was probably around 120, that probably would have killed That'll kill, though. Blue yeah, right. team trying to hold on to this lead for as long as they can. There goes one of the stocks for their lead, though. Yeah, Lowen's definitely got to stop doing that standard get up as much as he's been doing. Yeah, Slam saved his life there by uh, keeping Tech preoccupied so yep. he could not get a back through a follow up there. Yeah, that's one thing you want to also keep in consideration for doubles. If you can't get over there to save your teammate, sometimes the best option is just to keep your opponent's teammate preoccupied so they can't help out. That was really good setup. Mm -hmm. Ness means tend to have a habit of air dodging. It's it's a thing Ness is do because his air dodge is so good. Yeah. But usually they fall into a habit of doing it too much. Yeah. That was one of those examples where he shouldn't have air dodged. Yeah. Oh, getting him with that up. Getting him with that up. Yeah, that was big for red team, and it's really good that low one took out that stock when he did. Yeah, just responding with taking another stock to keep the matchup completely even. Because, yeah, because that would have been the crisis point of the set where things started yeah. to go downhill. Things started to reverse. Yep. Because honestly, another side effect of Luigi's up B is it just has such a crippling mental effect because it's got that sound and just the look of that fiery explosion. <laughs> yeah, it's a little disrespectful. It gets in your head a little bit, like, oh, exactly. I just got Luigi up beat. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Meta Knight shell loop looks very fancy and all, but Sometimes you just want to have that sound and sight to just cripple your opponent's well, mind. Yeah, the difference is when you get Metal, Meta Knight shuttle looped against this team, it's because they back through and you're like, oh, yeah. again? Well, well, I just have to accept <laughs> it. It's going to happen. Whereas an up B, it comes off of a pure read or your opponent or your teammates holding on to your opponent for you. Yes. Which is something I don't really see too often in doubles teams that have a Luigi where if you have an opponent between you and your teammate, the teammate runs in and just grabs them, and Luigi can just run in and up be the opponent while they're in the grab state. Oh, wow, they didn't take slam no. stock. A little oh. surprised by that, but I think that was forward air, so. Yeah. Meta Knight's forward air is a little weak. 
Yep. Oh, oh my Good gosh. awareness by low one. If he didn't get up there to stop that, that would have been a stock. Honestly, that forward air might might be the difference between winning yep. and losing this set. Yeah. Right there, because Slam Slam wants to hold on to this stock. He yeah. wants he wants to wait until low one can get Tech a kill percent oh, no. in that back throw. Especially now that Tech only has, or low one only has one stock left. This is oh. going to be huge. Nam goes down, gets hit by the PK Thunder, yep. and uh, suddenly things are looking up for red team. Yep. There we go, mixing up his get up option. Oh. Oh, wow. He's doing a good job of managing the situation, considering the two opponents he's up against, because I guess both of these opponents, he has an unfavorable matchup. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's it's very difficult for Low One to... It, it's very difficult for Low One to bring this back, but he's taking it as slow as he can, and he's really just trying to get little bits of damage. That's why yep. Low One sees so much success in these 2v1 situations. He doesn't try and go for the all-in move. He just goes for the chip damage to get them up over time. Yeah, Low One commands respect from his opponents, and they respect him, and he yep. he hits them little by little. Yep. So I think Low One's finally gotten to the point where he's recognized that Nam is... That... Going to grab him and throw him into a shuttle loop. That was very good because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure shuttle loop's grounded hitbox is bigger than yeah. the aerial hitbox. Yeah, because there's a lot of up B moves in this game that benefit from starting out on the ground. Oh, uh, Little Max up B, Luigi's up.